Hi, my name is Adam Bumad, and I'm a product manager on the Boundary team. Since the launch of Boundary in 2020, session recording has been the most requested feature. Boundary SSH session recording will allow administrators to get insight into user actions over remote SSH sessions. Administrators will be able to enable session recording on SSH targets in their Boundary environment, have signed recordings be stored in a storage bucket, and have the ability to play those recordings back within the Boundary admin UI. In this demo, I'm a security engineer at a Fortune 500 company. Due to a compliance mandate, we're needing to set up a system of record to archive actions taken within our environment. We'll go through the setup of session recording on a target and review actions a malicious insider has taken on a machine. I already have multiple workers set up, which will proxy and record our SSH traffic for us. Here, we have a storage bucket configured using AWS S3 as its backend. This is where our session recordings will be stored. You can see I'm going into one of my boundary scopes and already have an endpoint configured as a target. For credential management, we're using our integration with HCP Vault to create and inject SSH certificates on behalf of our users that connect to this machine. This will enable users to have a passwordless experience. For auditing purposes, I'll enable session recording on this machine. Once it's enabled, any sessions established to this target from any user will be monitored and recorded. I've also specified the storage bucket I want to use to store this target's recorded sessions. Now, we'll have one of our users, John, connect to this target using Boundary. John can use the Boundary desktop client or the CLI. In this case, he'll authenticate to Boundary using Auth0 and use the Boundary SSH helper command to connect to the target. A Boundary worker will proxy his authorized session to the machine, and from there, it looks like he's running some pretty interesting commands. Once a session is complete, I'll switch back over to the admin UI. Here, we can see some pretty interesting metadata about the session, the timestamps of when the session was created, bytes up, bytes down, the amount of connections established, as well as channels. The SSH spec defines global and channel message requests. Boundary is able to capture each of these messages, giving administrators the ability to understand what actions are being taken over a given session at a more granular level. Here, we can see the connections as well as channels that have been established by John. And of course, we can play back the recording of John's session to see those actions he took on the remote machine. To the right, we can see bytes up and down for this specific channel, when this channel was created, as well as its duration. Additionally, we see some related information, including the target that we're actually looking at, the storage bucket where the recording is located, as well as the associated IDs. Recorded sessions are converted into the BSR, a specification we've created that defines a structure of files and a binary file format. It contains all of the data transmitted between a user and a target during a session and is available within your storage bucket. Additionally, these files are signed to ensure they're tamper-proof. We're extremely excited to announce the availability of boundary session recording and for these enhanced auditing abilities to land in Boundary 013.